Hey, everybody. Welcome to Fresh Fair. <clears throat> uh, vibes and Beavis are allowed in this one. Hi. Okay. I had no idea what to expect with this game, and I still don't really. But, like, can we just take a minute to appreciate the fucking Sonic CD ass soundtrack? Like, this is. Like, this is extremely good. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure this game is good too, but like it just, the song goes so hard. Like you're just cruising along. Makes you want to pick a character for Crazy Taxi. Yeah, I love the chunky black lining. Um, Yeah, this is like a sitcom. It's like so good. Oh my god. Um, also, I'm swinging the title around with my grapple. Um, so I was going to do Grapple Dog and then a demo of this game um, called Lucky Me today. I don't think the demo of that game is out yet. Um, it was supposed to be out today, but it doesn't seem to be out on Steam yet. Um, but I have other I have other possibilities. Don't worry. But let's start Grapple Dog. The swing is bringing me back to early Worms games. Yeah, God, I watched someone play Worms, whatever the newer one is, like WMD the other day, and I was like, oh man, Worms is really good, huh? And just like really funny to play multiplayer with. Wait, I gotta check those options. Facts. Yeah, I want everything. I want to see it all. Accessibility. Oh. Interesting. Oh, that's neat. We'll stick with English, I think. <laughs> a dog's name is Pablo. It's a good name for a dog. Hundreds of years ago, the people of Partash lived in hunger and hardship. Then one day, the great inventor appeared. Using his genius intellect, he built wonderful devices to help the people. In turn, those who lived in Partash came to adore him like a king. However, one day, a great evil emerged, jealous of the inventor. Yeah, why is this mouse Steve Jobs? Sensing a final attack was imminent, the inventor made plans to protect the people. He just he scattered the four cosmic gadgets across Partash where evil could never find them. Everyone's always scattering things across the land in video games. Have you ever noticed that? Like, ah, oh, shit, someone's gonna get my stuff. I better scatter it across the land. After that, the great inventor was never seen again. Ever since then, treasure hunters have searched far and wide for the inventor's devices. Some hope for riches, some for glory, some hope to unlock the secrets of the past. Okay, so this is kind of like a Hunter Hunter, or like a One Piece, kind of? Yeah, my guy invented a grappling hook to solve world hunger. It's funny because this game, like, in still images, like, looks like it could just be like any number of like the design is good but just like i feel like what i immediately thought when i saw like the character designs and like still images and stuff was like any number of like ios platformers just like weird retro cash and platformers but like i have a feeling this is not that <laughs> like this seems like it's much more and seeing it in motion is different too because it is actually animated fairly well. Oh shit, a big robot. Oh no. Um <laughs> Okay, that's a very good animation. Yeah, that robot does look Oh no. Hello.
I'm getting like... I mean, I was just going to say the name of a bunch of games, which would not be helpful. Ouch, what happened? Intruder alert. State your reasons for trespassing. Engaging laser beam attack. Ah! Stop! Don't sh Well, he barks. That's really cute. Don't shoot, please. I don't want to die from a laser. Zap. Kaplow. Bamo. Ha ha ha. I don't worry, fella. I'm just getting around. After a thousand years stuck down here, I need a little laugh. Wait, we're stuck down here? My friends are probably worried sick. Whoa, calm down, fella. It's not the end of the world. Not yet, anyway. How about you follow me and I get us both out of here? They put Guilty Spark in the dog game. Use those to move. Oh, just like a video game. I know how that works. Oh, wow. That's a cute jump animation, the little, like, somersault. Oh, is this one of these? Is this a Ninja Gaiden? Or, um... What was the other one? Everyone liked? You got a name, fella? What's a doggy like you doing in a place like this? My name's Pablo. <laughs> I like how he just makes dog noise. Treasure, you say? Well, today's your lucky day, Pablo. You see that big chest over there? It's got something you've got to use to get us out of here. I'd open it myself, but I haven't got the uh, right tools. You mean like a screwdriver? No, more like hands. I haven't got any hands. What's your name? Uh, well, I haven't used my name in a long, long time. Not since before I was trapped! This is a guilty spark. It's a guilty spark. He's gonna trick us. I guess you can call me Nell. I mean, if you even. I guess you can call me Joshua Moon. I mean, if you even want to. <laughs> Truly hope that no one understands that reference. Oh, now it's the grapple dog. Before it was just dog, now it's grapple dog. Hey, thanks for the subscribe, Hilltop Studio. Uh, press X to throw the grapple. <gasps> it's just like home improvement for the Super Nintendo. Yeah, that butt stomp's really good. Okay, so I can only grapple onto this stuff. It's just like home improvement for the Super Nintendo, you guys. You know, the famous grappling <laughs> game. Oh, okay. Bonk. Yeah, it's high concept sci-fi, just like Home Improvement. Okay, fella, now we've got to open this big door here. Use that grapple to explore and try and find the switch. I don't know, Tim. <laughs> that big X on the door. This is literally Home Improvement. The robot is Tim. The robot is Tim. Pablo, you're going to have to trust me on this. We need to open this door, fella. We need more power. Does everyone know what time it is? Is it time for more power? Isaac Asimov's home improvement. Okay, I guess I'll look for that switch. Don't do it, Pablo. He's trying to trick you. I don't think so, Tim. This robot is trying to... Oh, God. He just bounced. You didn't even wait for me. Rude. Uh, uh, uh. Are we still inside of the very sad robot? No, I think... Oh god, that's its body. It's gonna get in its body and try to kill me. Yes. <laughs> yes. Nell, what is this place? What are you doing? Oh, Pablo. Uh, I will. I mean, I gotta do something over here real quick. 
Don't mind me. Oh god. Oh no, it's the robot devil. Who could have seen this coming? Truly, who could have predicted this turn of events? Oh, Pablo, you have no idea what you've done. After all this time, I'm restored to my full power. Now I'm free, free to search for the cosmic gadgets once again. All thanks to you, fella. If you want my advice, run. I helped you. Why are you being a dick? That's why you never help robots. Wait, what if I don't run? Will anything happen? Doesn't seem like it. Oh god. Now there's a robot dragon in the mix. Oh no, I died. Because he put his head on a robot body, all the other robots got stands. Oh shit. No, not Steve Jobs. Oh my god. How did he get horns? He didn't have horns before. Finally, I can finish what I started. Everything will burn. Oh good. Great. Good. I'm glad I freed the sort of like unstoppable terminator death machine real good job there what happened to pablo is he hurt he was in the water i pulled him out as fast as i could pablo please be okay yeah jetpack bunny is pretty cool look tony he's waking up these look like parappa characters and i love them pablo i'm so glad you're awake we were really worried about you are you okay Oh, he's a wet dog. I'm okay. I'm a little cold. We lost you back there. What happened? So, I fell down a hole. <laughs> On the one hand, we unleashed Robot Devil. On the other, we learned how to move and grapple. So who can say what we did was good or bad? True. And then I jumped in the water to get away. And then I woke up and you asked me what happened. And then I don't know what happens next because that's now. Pablo, focus. You say that you obtained some sort of grappling device? Show me right away. Okay. You say so. Whoa, cool. The aerodynamics are incredible. Okay, wait. My batteries are dying, folks. Give me a second. I know I always forget that these things... I think I'm just used to controllers that just charge. Um, and I have rechargeable batteries, but, you know, I have to take them out and replace them all the time. Yeah, I'm more interested in the grapple device than the swarm of robots, robot Satan, robot dragon. He legally changed his answer grapple deck. Forget Arrow, what's it? This is a creation of the great inventor. It's a priceless artifact. Honestly? Okay, you might think like, oh, ha ha. You wow, win. he invented a grappling hook. That's what a great inventor. But like, hey, thanks for the follow, Moak. But if you think about it, grappling hooks don't work in real life. Like, grappling hooks from like cartoons and stuff, just like, that's not a thing, really. So like, if someone could make that a thing, that would be a pretty cool deal. That would be, he would be a great inventor. <laughs> Professor, Nell said something about the cosmic gadgets. You win. Thank you for the follow, Dockwater17. Yes, that raises a few questions. What does Nell hope to achieve by gathering them, I wonder? I mean, he said he wanted to, like, incinerate the world, so... I'm trying to remember my research on the subject. We know the great inventors scattered the cosmic gadgets, but no one knows their exact purpose. There are theories. They could power an enormous machine, or wake a monster, or contact space aliens. Regardless, we know that when gathered, they will release enough energy to damage the fabric of reality? What? <laughs> that seems bad. 
Is that bad? <laughs> that amount of energy would destroy the entire world. What? That is bad. That settles it. We have to get the cosmic gadgets, stop Null, and save the world. I'm with you, Pablo. I'll help you with whatever you need. Hmm, Pablo, we're more historical researchers than world savers. If there's no world when you finish your book, then nobody will be there to read it. Hmm, a fair point. Alright, I suppose I'll come with you then. Yeah, could I just borrow the jetpack? That would probably make all these grappling-based challenges a lot easier if I just kind of had a jetpack. <gasps> Whoa! Look, it's like, it's like three-dimensional. Why? The music in this game is so good. It's like, hey, we're just making a chill little game about a dog with a grappling hook. So, you know, just like whatever music you got. Oh, will this do? Just like the wildest beat you've ever heard. Why did Steve Jobs make the hell artifacts? I don't know. Maybe Steve Jobs was the villain all along. That would be a twist. Hey, can I have... Okay. Like, it just seems like if these are all going to be primarily based on grappling, then if I had a jetpack, that would sort of make it a lot easier. We already... Yeah, and why are you impressed with a grappling hook when you already have a jetpack? Like... I, it, that does raise some questions for me. I'm loving the voice samples. It's very... It's giving Sonic the Hedgehog to me. Like it's giving, like, Sonic Mania, Sonic CD. Who is this? Hey, have you seen an evil robot around here? Whoa there, buddy. Evil's a pretty loaded term. Oh, right. Have you seen uh, any kind of robot? Yeah, there's a bunch of horrible, scary robots up this way. Wow. Splitting hairs, huh? What are these fruits? Are they good for dogs? Do dogs like these? Centrist goat, yeah. The worst Mega Man X robot. Hi, I'm Centrist- oh shit, wrong button. What is this art style called? Denki Blocks has the exact style. I don't know what Denki Blocks is, but... This is like a... It's like a like thick line art. Um, I feel like I've seen stuff like this before, but this is a good execution of it because I think it's, I actually can't tell because some of it I think is, is polygons in real time and then some of it is sprites. Like that boat I'm pretty sure was a polygon, like that wasn't. Um. Ah, Pablo, I wanted to tell you about this purple gem over here. It's the sort of thing I shouldn't touch. Like, the t I love how dumb this dog is. No, though you really do need to stop doing that. According to my research, these gems were used by the great inventor to override robotic signals. If we were to collect enough, we could clear the way to further islands. Apparently there are five hidden in each stage, so be sure to look for them. <laughs> okay, I, sh I will, Mom. Or whoever you are. Ant, chicken. Ah, oh, tricky. Oh no. Can I do anything about that? Can I stomp on him? I can! It is a very chunky style. Ah, oh, the soundtrack! So many voice samples. It's like, it's good. Hi. Aha. Are oh, you want a carrot? I don't think I have a carrot. I don't know what came out of that other robot. Feed goat! 
That goat just doesn't even is non-verbal. It's just like give give snack. The swinging feels really good. Um, I feel like grappling in games can be so tricky because like you really have to nail the feeling of like momentum and also control. And like this game seems to be doing a really good job of. Uh, of combining those things. Oh, I should say also, um, yeah, I got code for this from the, uh, from the devs, so thank you, um, to the devs slash publishers for that. This one is not out yet. I think it comes out in a few days, next week. I'm playing this on Steam. Um, I don't know if it's on anything else. Should have done more research, but like, uh... Like this, this bit right here is very like, oh, I, I got the carrot, okay. Steam and Switch, okay, cool. Cause that's the question with a game like this, I feel like that inevitably gets asked, like, so is it coming out on Switch? <laughs> Where's that goat? Is it back here? Did I go too far? There it is. Oh shit. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but like all these games do, right? Like puzzle platformers, you always have to, like, learn their quirks. <laughs> Here's your carrot. Oh, cool! Thank you. I'm getting also kind of, like, a Wario vibe from this, too. Maybe that's, like, the butt slam and, like, the kind of goofy... the goofiness of it. A <laughs> goat fed! I'm usually like not great. This is the GB This is the GBA version of PS1 aesthetics. Yes. Okay, no. What this is, it reminds me of Klonoa for the GBA. Um Yeah, or like Drill Dozer or something. It's like yeah, when they tried to make a PS1 version a PS1 game on the Game Boy Advance. Which is good to be clear. Um, I think there was a Klonoa game on GBA, yeah. Maybe I'm getting that confused. But I'm pretty sure there was. Yeah, it's post 16 bit, but small screen, so chunky still. I wonder if there's gonna be stuff that I'm gonna have to like come back to get. I'm playing this on uh, on Steam on my PC. Oh shit, that was close. Oh god. Got their ass in 4K. No! No! <laughs> okay, I'll try that again. The bar on the top left, I think, is your speed. It's like your momentum. It's like in Mario 3. The P meter. Grapple straight up if you don't hold any direction. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Hey, Tony, what are you doing there? 
Oh, hey, Pablo. It's nice to see you. I'm using my analyzer to study this strange object. According to my readings, it's wirelessly connected to a network of localized teleportation devices. Collect this coin and you'll unlock a bonus level in the overworld. I love collecting shiny things. Yeah, baby. Bonus. Bonus fruit. Bonus coin. You love to see it. I wonder if I need... If, like, getting all of these fruit is something, or if it's, like, coins in Mario. Where you don't really... Yeah, it has, like, 3DS eShop. I feel like I'm just saying, like, a bunch of different games, but, like... That looks bad. That looks bad to step in. Yeah, this is a video game as video game, that's true. Okay, what am I supposed to do here? I just fling myself across. Oh, wow, okay, yeah. I love how we're just like naming every game with grappling hooks or like with like vocal samples in it now. I mean, you kind of can't help but make those comparisons, I guess. Oh, shit. Okay, it does feel good when you like do a cool stunt or something though. Just like what these games are like primarily about, right? <laughs> well, we gotta play- I kind of want to do a fanbite worm stream, to be honest, just because like I was watching um, Charborg play it the other day and was like, damn, Worms is so funny and stupid. Yeah, ring the bell, just like Dark Souls. It, this game is basically Dark Souls. Is the grapple an attack too? I don't think so. I think you just have to like, butt slam. Okay, so I missed one of the gems, I guess, but... Oh, and you can collect all of the, the bonus fruits, I guess, but I did not do that. Um, I think I can only go up to the end of the first world. I assume not stage. Um, so, what if Dark Souls both butts lamp? Uh, hey, Pablo, did you know that after you beat a stage, you can do it in time trial? Okay. <laughs> no, they're just for fun. Let's try Blast Zone. Cannons. We're bringing cannons into the mix. Yeah, I know. Just kind of GBA, like... Like, people have said, like, that style was designed to be readable on, like, small screens. Um, but, um... Often still looks good on a bigger screen, too. I mean, if this was on the GBA, it would be at a way lower resolution is the thing, and, like, the sprite would take up much more space. Um... Yeah, bonus fruit. This just has very good vibes, you know? Sometimes you just need a game with good vibes. I never got- I never played, um... Shit, what is it? Wait, can I grapple one of these guys? Oh. I guess if I swing into them, they get hurt? Thank you for the follow, Remy Da. Um, what was the game? I don't know if it had a grappling hook, but it had, like, jumping and stuff that everyone really loved like, a couple of years ago. Um. Celeste, yes, thank you, Goshorn. Um. I never played it, because I... I'm not really into 
I'm not really into like tough 2D platformers that much. Um, but I know everyone really liked it, so maybe this will kind of appeal to the same. <laughs> I'm credible that description worked. I don't know. The the 3D the 2D platformer that everyone liked a few years ago. It was really big. I just couldn't remember what it was. With jumping, you know, an air dash. I think it had air dash as well. Like a Mega Man might. Folks, we love to discover secrets, don't we? <gasps> the dog is in the cannon. Wow. I haven't actually gotten hurt yet, so I wonder if I just like die. If like you get touched, is that it? Well, we've just learned something. You that's not it, but that's your health meter, I guess. The pause? Well, it seemed to recharge, so... Maybe if you give fruit, it comes back? Oh, that robot dropped a bone. Yeah, I know, I've heard really good things about Celeste, I'm just... Not great at those kinds of games. Um, I just don't like... Well, I was about to say I don't like replaying the same thing over and over until I get it. <sighs> and then remembered how many tries it took me to beat some Dark Souls bosses. I think I'm just like really picky with 2D platformers because I grew up with, with them. Um... And so if it doesn't feel like how I expect it or want it to feel, I'm just like, I can't get into it. Which doesn't mean they're not good, it just means that like, my brain doesn't really understand them. Am I gonna play the Bloodborne remake? Um, I haven't downloaded it and I um, will probably not play it on stream just because I'm not gonna do it before Elden Ring, certainly, and um, I don't know, it seems really cool. I don't play a lot of like fan projects, I guess. Um, like, there are a lot of mods for, um, for, you know, like Dark Souls and stuff that like I never really touched just because, um, I don't know, I just, I guess I'm just kind of a weird purist in that respect. Like I think it's an awesome project and um, it seems really cool. But uh, having also just having come off of Bloodborne so recently, like I think probably for people who didn't just play it, um, they might be. Uh... Oh, it's only the first bit. Oh, okay. Well, the first bit is like the worst part of Bloodborne. <laughs> um, I mean, not the worst, but the hardest. One of the hardest parts, at least. Oh, I love the crunchiness when you break something. It's so good. Also, I'm pretty sure the cannon noise is just someone making the noise out of their mouth. <gasps> you want a carrot? I've got a carrot. Yeah, ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. If you want to ring the bell, you got to get through us all, baby. Oh, okay, so you get more bonus gems. So, like, yeah, there's two. if you get 110, and then if you get 220, you get bonus gems as well. You can pet the dog if you get all the bonus gems. Mushroom Grotto. Oh, bouncy mushroom, bouncy mushroom, bouncy mushroom. Bouncy mushroom. It's a video game, folks. I was worried that it wasn't going to be a video game. 
I mean, it does have grappling hook and bonus fruit, so debatably it was already a video game, but it's got bouncy mushroom now. What is this? Do I want this? Huh. Um, it's got bouncy mushroom. One of my favorite things in video games. It's just so goofy. It's such like a weird staple of platformers. Oh, do I have to ground pound that? Ah! Oh. Well, plus three what? Is that health? Bouncy mushrooms always remind me of, uh, Bouncy mushrooms. Bouncy mushrooms always remind me of, um, Sonic and Knuckles. I know they, they're in Mario, like New Super Mario Brothers as well. But I just always th hey, it's Steve Jobs. It smells Steve Jobs. They just always make me think of Sonic and Knuckles because Mushroom Hill Zone is so iconic to me. Yeah, the cannon noise just sounds like someone making a noise out of their mouth, which is great. Yeah, Mushroom Hill's music was really good too. Honestly, that level is just like so gorgeous. This is just like a really... Obviously, we're not that far in yet, but so far it's just like a really competently made 2D platformer, which like... I know there's sort of a lot of them, but... This one is good, though. Oh, I can boost? Oh, what? Okay, that's cool. Wait, 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 wait. Listen to the, what happens to the music underwater. God, that's good. Okay, Damien Shepard has been lurking and says, the Canon SFX is in fact a mouth noise. Uh, I di audio directed and did most of the main gameplay sound design with a small audio team behind me as well. Well, you did a terrific job because this game sounds great. Also, any game where like the music gets like more muted underwater. Oh God, it's given me, it's, it's given me great, great vibes. It's just like, I don't know, every once in a while, I'll just like play a random platformer, um, just like all the way through. And just because it just like feels good to play, which is maybe, I'm just saying nothing right now, but um, I feel like I played, uh, what was it one that was like Radish Dad or something? You were a dad who is a turnip or a radish, not Turnip Boy Saves the World. Um, I forget what it, but it was like just an incredibly simple platformer. Um, but I played through all of it in like one or two sittings last year, just because it was like really charming. Daddish, yeah. Um, or I, maybe I played the sequel, I don't remember. Or like, um, there was that 3D platformer, the really brief one that came out of the, uh, the haunted PS1 jam, but then they were like, oh no, the thing that people like about this is that it's just a fun platformer. Uh, and they made two of them last year. I forget what that was called, but it was good. Dinging with Daddish. Oh god, yeah, there's probably gonna be just like deranged speedruns of this game, huh? Oh, uh, no! I had it. Ow. Ow. Oh, God. <laughs> there was a... Well, it was kind of weird to... Yeah, the one where you're a duck. Um, 
What is this? Speedrun Master Chrono Quote. Oh, is that like... Who's... Who has the fastest time on this level? That's cool. Oh, there's a speedrun contest that happened. I see. The dog is very cute. It's a good dog. <laughs> I'm gonna settle the speedrun. Yeah, my amazing speedrun tactics. Oh, okay, shit. So, I assume that's gonna be a thing in like later levels. You can use enemies the same way you use those balloons to grapple to them. Like you can't swing from them, but you sort of like launch yourself. So I assume that's going to be kind of a thing. Oh shit. Damn. Okay, now I'm just like getting just like super invested. Does the grappling hook contain his wife? That's a good question. There's three hard skips in a row on this level that made speedrunning it miserable. Mm. Well, I'm clearly not doing any of those. This is the first time I've played this game. Oh, shit. No, no, no. Let me up. I know there's something up there. <laughs> Shoving the beans. So this game already has a speedrunning community then, is what you're saying. That's wild. You posthumously got first place? You died? Ah, uh, not quite 220. RIP very legally, but... Pablo, why don't you visit me on the boat sometime? I'm very old and learned, and I'm sure you'd benefit from the wisdom I could share with you. Oh, and I can play my video game. Pablo, you're not a very good research assistant, are you? Oh, buddy, I'm good at video games. Okay. Oh, cool. Let's go to the... Aunt Chicken is back. Well, wait. Looking good. Cute. Where's my chicken at? I'm not supposed to play with the toaster anymore. <laughs> I love all these little touches. I love, I don't know, I love a game with like a little like home base thing that you can just like walk around in. It's, I just, I'm, I'm a fan, I'm a fan. <gasps> Boomerang Bandit? Me? 
Yeehaw. <laughs> There's like a little mini game in it. That's cute. This yeah, we're gaming squared, folks. And also it has like a little like tinny version of like the song. Yeah, see if they have Grapple Dog installed on the computer. The boomerang is kind of neat because you can press the button again to recall it. Oh shit. Oh, that hurts me if they get past the bottom of the screen. So it's more like a Space Invaders than a shmup. Oh, and the boomerang follows like where you are, so you can sort of just like bounce it around. Oh, you only get points with the boomerang. I was wondering why my score wasn't going up. The bullets are like last resort. I see, I see. This is really fun. Just gonna let it end though, see what happens. Okay. Um but can I go to bed? Good. The dog noise is so good. Oh my god. Okay, let's go see chicken. Wait, can I sit in this chair too? I can. Is Shell Shock Tales part of the game? No, sorry. That's a. Uh, that's to tell you when I'm talking. I I should probably switch that out from Tales gets trolled to something else. Why is there a chair on top of that bookshelf? Hey, what's up? Ah, Pablo, my intrepid research assistant. I'm glad you came to see me. We have much to discuss. I've been doing further reading into this null character, looking at records of the inventor's creations. I now believe Null to be a mechanical being. Yeah, he's a robot. Not just any kind of robot. He was created by Steve Jobs himself. Wait, you think Null was made by Steve Jobs? As in, the inventor built him? Yes, precisely. Oh, maybe the last living being who knew Steve Jobs personally. The knowledge he may possess is priceless. It would advance my research considerably. Uh, this is not the demo. This is the uh, full game. Uh, I got the hookup. Thank you to the devs for that. And I probably will have to stop playing soon because I am going to do another game um, on this stream. But um, yeah, this is the, the full version. Uh, it comes out... Uh, in a few days, I think. <laughs> I don't think he's going to sit down. February 10th. Yes. Uh, so, next week. Uh, let me just double check something real quick. Okay. For a second there, I was like, wait, was the embargo next week? <laughs> no, it was yesterday. We're good. Squeak Jobs. That's Steve Jobs. Yeah. Published a little yawn. Wait, if I do it, is there an idle animation? Oh my god. That made me yawn. 
<sighs> What's their rabbit friend up to? Not here. Is she building a robot? Uh, that little... The little boost when you start running, it reminds me of um, 3D World, Mario 3D World. Like how if you run for a few seconds, you get this like little boost. It's really good. Oh. Hey, Tony, how are you doing? Oh, hey, Pablo, I'm just checking on the engine. Just ch calibrating, just calibrating the engine. Where are your jetpack, please? Tony is Garrus. Yeah, it does seem that way. Can I borrow your jetpack, please? It would help a lot. I would love to borrow a jetpack. Just doing donuts in my cool boat. What's this? Bonus level. Ah. Oh. Taking so many screenshots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's neat. <clears throat> All right, give me a sec. Let me see if um if the other game I was going to play you is win. on Steam yet. And thank you for following, Damien. Um, the demo for Lucky Me. Oh, it is. Okay, I'm gonna download the demo for Lucky Me. And, uh, we're going to switch over to that. I did actually have some other options. I did have some other options. I have, um, there's a game called Faberro, which is sort of a 3D visual novel kind of thing. Um... And then I also bought a game called Cock Soccer. You win. Which is called Cock Soccer. Um It's not Dick. It's the other it's chicken. Um So we could look at that and Lucky Me. Um I think we have time. Let's, yeah, okay, so let's, let's, um, I mean, yeah, okay, no, let's just do Cocksucker and then we'll do the Lucky Me demo. I'm pretty, yeah, like, I looked at it and it just seems to be a generic kind of, like, it's, like, not, it'll, it's allowed. I'm pretty sure it's allowed, you know? There's no rule on Twitch that says you can't play Cocksucker. You know? Maybe there is. I should have checked. Um, can you please? There we go. Oh my god, that's loud. I always forget that Windows defaults to just like insanely loud. So I believe this came out today as well. This is a this is early access. Um, <laughs> it says no. It says no. I can't.
It says you can't play it. Well, it doesn't say you can't play it. It says you can't call it that. We're going to turn it down even more. So, sorry to use a zero. I, I don't think it's not going to be in the registry, though. I don't think... It's not a porn game. No, it's it's just a it's a rooster. They just called it that to make it funny, I guess. Well, I can't do it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is um I'm pretty sure this is it's fine. Like it's not it's not porn. Um I checked beforehand cuz I was like, "What the fuck is cock soccer?" Um and the answer is soccer for roosters. And other animals. And mainly, I'm going to be honest with you, the reason why I wanted to look at this is because you can make your own little fucker. And we love to make a little guy here, don't we? Okay. I'm pressing. Can I go? Oh. It said to press that button, but it meant to press the other one. Please don't go. Okay, wait. Can I not... Okay, it is very early access, so maybe controller support isn't working yet. Um, so that is what they called it. Um, there's a lot. This, you know, what this UI looks like. <laughs> it looks like when you're like at a hotel and like looking at the cable, and they're like, "Oh, here's oh, King of Queens is on. Cool." Okay, let me try cocksock. Let me try another spelling of it. Let's block out the soccer. Nope, 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 nope. It, this is the TV guide. What? <laughs> when I was a kid, um, we know we just had basic cable, so we didn't have like satellite or anything. So there was a local channel that you could go to that would tell you what was on on all the channels, but because it was just basic cable, it wasn't like interactive, right? So you couldn't like scroll ahead. So it would just show like the next like two hours and then um, it would just like scroll. And if you wanted to see what was next, you just had to wait on channel 11 for a while. Um, well, we have to definitely make a guy. Okay, well, Okay. Why is this character's name Ebola Coli? Why, why is this character's name Ebola Coli? Hey, why is this character's name Ebola Coli? And they put an anime in here too, huh? Does she have socks on her hands? What is this, huh? Okay, no, this is... Maybe that's not done yet, but, like, in the screens I saw, it was, like, 3D characters, and you could, like, make your own little bastard. Um, we've got all the animals, kids, like. <laughs> Roosters, cats, anime. Uh, the bottom clothes color. Whoa, what? This chicken's like so. This chicken's gonna like rip my fucking head off. That's fur? I promise it's not. Okay, so that's not exactly what I thought it was gonna be like. I thought it was gonna be. Um. But let's just try. Let's just... Let's just try. Um... Okay. Hammer time. Pizza time. Boob. Continue. Okay. Start. No animals were harmed Fox in the crew. Well... Well, <sighs> well, wait, did it end? 
Wait, is it? Oh, is it because I didn't? Is it because I didn't have a second player? Okay, let's try that again. That was. Greetings to everyone here in this beautiful place called New Sun City. This is the this is the game. Oh shit. Okay, again though, why does the soundtrack go so hard? <laughs> Schneider's kids shoes. What is <laughs> Wait. Okay, this mode is in very early stages of development. Return to the menu and Okay. So is this like a beat 'em up soccer mode? Oh shit, the ball's gone. This is like Streets of Rage soccer. Oh, is that a Dan Schneider reference? No! <laughs> oh god! Oh god, okay. Um... Okay, well... That's maybe not what any of us were expecting, or hoping for, or... They did say alpha, they did say early access. I'm sure it's much better two players right now, but we are gonna exit Cox Soccer. Um, I wanna sh cause I wanna show you what I thought. Like, in the screenshots it looks, it's almost like they sold me a bill of goods, you know? Um, we'll be back. I'll be back for the beta of Cox Soccer. Um, yeah, okay, like, listen to the description. It's a multiplayer arcade-style sports game with uh, chaotic gameplay that fuses soccer with some beat-em-up elements and maps with traps in them that can change the course of the match in unexpected ways. That sounds really cool. Um, it's not done yet. It needs to um, cook more. It needs to cook more, I think. Um, but that's fine, you know? Um... Cock soccer to the tune of Rock Lobster. Um, let's play Lucky Me, and before it happens this time, I'm going to preemptively turn the sound down. No, it's Cocksucker isn't running. Oh, I just realized why they named it Cocksucker. Come on, guys. Come on. Okay. This is Lucky Me. Uh, I just saw this on... Wait, what other reason? I mean, it sounds like Cocksucker. Nope, that's wrong. That's wrong. There we go. Okay. Um, okay, so this is... Just basically every week, I just look on Steam to see like what's coming out this day. Because I like to keep things as fresh as possible on Fresh Fair. So this is Lucky Me. And uh, it just looked kind of interesting to me. It looked kind of neat. Um, so the idea with this game is you, they copy your every move is the idea with the game. So basically it's a second person shooter. Yeah. Um, basically there's like, when I turn, this thing turns, when I move, it moves. It's, and I have to killed the goons without getting got. And then you dab, because it's Fortnite. Apparently. So, that was easy, but, okay, now it's gonna get... Okay, cool. You dab, you dab every time, huh? Okay, so I have two bullets, they each have one. Okay, still easy. I assume it's gonna get more complicated. This is also only the demo, but I just, I like the idea of like puzzle games like this. Okay, so now this is bad. 
So you see what's happening here is that it's not good. Uh, this is a demo and also, yeah, it's a demo, so it's free. So just keep that in mind. Um, is that gonna get, there we go. Everyone just shoot the person on your left. Yeah, that's the power of my stand. Ammo. Oh, okay. So now do I just... Yeah, apparently. I haven't played Tights and Fight Spaces... Fights and Tight Spaces. Uh, I think some people on staff have, but... Okay. Oh, okay. So now I want them to get the ammo. Okay. Feels like we're doing some kind of weird dance. Okay, so it's already kind of gotten too complicated for me, I guess. Okay, so you can trick it by, if you move into the wall, they will continue to move with you. So I may have fucked this up. Yeah, I'm gonna restart this one. What if I just shoot this guy to start? No, that's mine. No, no, that was mine. <laughs> Try that again. Or if I just get all of the ammo. Oh wait, yeah, what if I do this? Boom. Boom. Maybe not the most artful way to do it, but... Listen, I got the job done. And now I dab. Okay, so I have no ammo now. Okay, so I failed. Dabbing with guns feels- it's a stoic dab, yeah. Uh, I'm actually a stoic, so um, I'm unmoved by your insult. <laughs> I mean, yeah, of course you read it as stoic. If you, it's like, it's just one of those things that, like, I don't think anyone should be made fun of for that, for not knowing how to pronounce a word that they've read. Kill two at a time. But this... Oh, I see. You guys just... Do it, please. Biopic. I had a teacher in high school who pronounced zine, zine. And I was like, do you pronounce magazine, magazine as well? Like... Uh, I think I fucked up. <laughs> Piper Bowl. Listen, I pronounce things wrong a lot, so called Lang Zines. Okay, that was wrong. A 
a tome. Okay. Wait, what if I do this? That's what I literally just did. Just kill the top right one first. Okay. I feel like I'm doing, um, uh, Last Wish in Destiny 2. Part with the, um, the almonds, which will not make sense to anyone who hasn't played that game. Um, wait, now what? So bad at this, oh my god. Okay. One more try. Is getting sick. All right, the top one has to die first, we're saying? If you kill a 2 mo one do they drop it? I don't think so. Okay. Celebratory dab. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Um, so first I want these guys to do this. Uh, I pronounced synecdoche like synecdoche. Yeah, I definitely did that too. Oh, well, no, not that. Not like that, but like that. But not that, but like that, you know? Just doing my dabs. Oh shit, now we're getting serious. There's like walls and stuff. Oh, well. I don't think that was supposed to happen. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, and then he gets the ammo. And then he gets the ammo. This is very curious. Like, oh, there's a different guy. It's the pyro. Does that guy have to get hit twice to die or something? Or like by the twice at the same time? Yeah, I could see this getting like very, like, oh shit, why is there a TV orb? Unlocked? What did I unlock? I freed that man. 
Oh, and now they're bouncing too? He went to heaven. And I fucked up. And I cannot restart the level. This is a demo of an early access game, so... I can't even go to the main menu. <laughs> yeah, the man just left. He took the game with him. I can't even return to the main menu, so... Dev, just so you know... Uh, there's a... Kind of a... Game-ending bug here. I'm gonna have to hard close this one. Um. Wow. Wow. Um. That was neat. Um. Tell you what, I want to play more Grapple Dog though. Oh, the team is here. We saw this. Thanks for catching it. Um. Cool. It looks really neat. Um. Obviously, again, a demo of, and of a game that is, you know, not nearly done yet, but uh, it's a really cool idea. I feel like it's a kind of puzzle that I've seen in other games, but like really elaborating on it. But we are just going to play a little bit more Grapple Dog before we go. I think I'm allowed to play to the end of the first world, so. Oh god. God, I wish I had a jetpack. What does that X mean? Oh, okay. Are these timed in some way, or...? Doesn't seem like it. I love an invisible wall. That isn't, or like, I, I love a wall that isn't a wall, you know? Oh shit, yeah, sorry, I haven't switched it over. Thank you for catching that. <laughs> This is audio only grapple dog. Okay, here, I'll restart the stage. Okay, so there's these X things that I have to collect these to like make them real. And what I was saying before about Invisible walls like this. Which is the opposite of an invisible wall, I guess, in that it's a visible non wall. It's an intangible wall. Ow. I tried to collect my exes to make them real, but it didn't work out. I'm sorry. Yeah, Grapple Dog is great. This, I was playing this at the top of the stream, so if you're just joining us, um, you can check the VOD um, to see more of this game. I'm not going to go too much longer, but this is... Um, I got early code for this. It comes out next week. And uh, it's really cute and really fun like it's just a really good uh just a really good platformer with like a lot of charm
Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, this is coming on the Switch, I believe, so... If you prefer to play these kinds of games on the Switch, as I know many people do, then, uh, um... Oh, bone. I'll go back. Oh, wait, watch this. Bone repairs bean. That's so true. God, you really get some get up and go with that swing. Yeah! You can't hide from me. Oh, but I do fall sometimes and hurt. Yeah, that's a lot faster than dogs normally move. Does the dog do a dab? I have not seen him do a dab yet, but... It's possible that the dog dabs. Ah, oh, now I get the gem. The grapple seems to kind of give you extra airtime, even if you don't hit anything. Which is kind of interesting. It just it feels really good to play. Like, I kind of didn't know what to expect going into this, but... Also, just, yeah, like, the, I know I've gushed about this a lot already, but the, the sound design in this game is just, like, unreal. It's so good. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. Live and learn. Ooh, gem. Yeah, it shows, like, um, when I get a gem, it's like, oh, you got the third one in the level. You didn't get the first one. So you kind of know where to look. It's like, um, like New Super Mario games with like the, the big coins or whatever. Mario with bit, yeah, bit coins. Um, it's just everything in this game is really like smooth. The animation's really good. God, please don't bring up NFTs. I'm already in so much trouble. Not really. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna make fun of NFTs. Um... I don't care who you are, like, it's something, this is kind of a recurring theme with me, something doesn't become a good idea because, um, you are, because of who you are, you know? Things can be bad ideas regardless of who's doing them. Not always, but sometimes. But there are no NFTs in Grapple Dog. As far as I know. Oh no! That looks like ground! <laughs> oh 
Oh god. Disliking NFTs is effectively a hate crime. That is true. Really, I'm just hitting from outside the club. Oh, shit. Oh no. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. MFTs, like Mario. Fungible tokens. Michael transactions. <laughs> yeah, ring the bell. Love to ring that bell. Yeah, I got so many fruits. So many bonus fruits. Only blockchain I care about is the chain attaching this dog to a block. That's so true. I wonder if there are like bosses in this. Oh shit, that robot wants 30 gems before he'll let me through. I don't have 30 gems. I wonder how many that is. Like, I don't think it's all of them. No, I only need like eight more. I would get like potentially five more from this level. Hmm. All right, let's see what's up with this level. Is this anything or is it just, just look different? The music from the last level had the same tune as Love That Chicken from Popeyes. <laughs> Dogs do love chicken. Got your ass, robot. This dog just loves grapes. Wait, are those grapes? Aren't grapes super bad for dogs? Or are they just like mystery fruit? Oranges? Have I mentioned that I'm colorblind? They are kind of shiny for oranges, right? Like, they look like berries. Something that's really funny about these lyrics is, um, or this music is that, like, that looks like, that looks like a bunch of grapes, right? Um, Something that's really funny to me about the soundtrack is when I was in high school, I was in a really terrible band and we had a song called Stop the Machine. And so every time I hear it say that, I'm just like, I just think about that. Like right there. But like, I'm really digging the Genesis vibes on the soundtrack. Please post my terrible band to SoundCloud. I don't know if I even have the file of the masters anymore. Um, and if I did, I probably wouldn't post them. 
Like, I don't mean it was, like, funny bad. It's just, like, not good at all. Oh, shit. Ow. Give gem. Yes. Delicious gem. The machine stopped me in the end, yeah. Yeah, there's no breath meter, which I like. I, I don't care for games where you can drown. That's why I always liked Mario more than Sonic as a kid. Sonic games stressed me out. I mean, I did like them, but... Hey, Trash Bandicoot. Yeah, um... Yeah, I didn't realize... Oh, shit. Forgot you can't grab one of those. Um, I didn't realize this had been, like... People had sort of been, like, anticipating this one for a while. Um, I only heard about it pretty recently, and this is the first time I'm playing it, but it does seem pretty fucking rad. Ow. My beans. My precious beans. Yeah, god, chemical plant zone? Honestly, it's like the worst. Does Mario have gills? No, he's just two-dimensional so he doesn't have to breathe. Don't ask about Sonic. I don't understand how that works. Mario does have to breathe when he's in three dimensions, though, because then he has lungs. That's why he has to breathe in 3D games. Is there, like, a limit to your horizontal swing? It seems like you can't just go all the way around, right? Sonic caught a case of 3D Blast and it ruined him for swimming. <laughs> After playing the single level with this background and theme for 15 hours and the speedrun comp seeing new stages surreal. Yeah, once again, thank you to the devs and publisher for... How do I get up there? For uh, getting us code early. God, when you start getting good at the swing, it's like really good. Oh, would that give me momentum if I double swing from here? It might. I'm just not. I might not be good enough to do that yet. Okay, yeah, I think that is it. Ugh, so close. Okay. No, I'm, I don't think I'm going to get it. I like that there's parts where you can use the grapple to save yourself if you, like, mess, mess up on a jump a little bit. And then you can do this cool boost underwater. Wait, there's something back there. 
I keep getting those things confused with cannons and thinking I can land in them. Yeah, gem time. Oh, ow. Ow. My beans, my precious beans. Ding dong. We did it, folks. Okay, so there's seven gems in every stage because there's five you can collect and then you get two potentially from getting fruit. And I got another bonus level. So how many does he want? He wants 30? All right, maybe if I get all three gems in here, we can try the boss and then we'll... Or maybe it's a boss, I don't know. Race to the finish. Oh, shit. Oops. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> this is hard. Oh shit. Okay. Is there an easier way I can do this? I need three gems. Please, I just need three gems. Oh, there's three I haven't gotten here. Dog got sick. Okay, this time, you got this. So I think there's a few hidden ones I don't have, and then I think if I just get enough bonus fruit, I get a few extra as well. I don't know what they are, I'm just calling them bonus fruit because that's <laughs> it's a video game. Okay, wait, no. Ah, here we go. There's a gem, baby. Big G on the board. You don't need to actually butt stump on them, you can just jump on them. 
Good to know. Aha! Uh -huh. Did I already have that one? <laughs> I don't I don't think I don't think they reappear if you already have them. See that one I already have. Yeah, I know. It's like really simple, but it's just feels great to play. It's just like executed really, really well. I got the carrot for that goat. We just love to see like a simple idea executed incredibly well, you know? Wait, no, not yet. Aha. Yes. Got those gems. Well, don't don't jump into spikes, kids. It's no good. Even just like in the little tiny amount of time I've been playing this, I can already feel myself getting like so much better and more comfortable with the controls and able to just like, like much more confident with swinging and stuff. Yeah, this does give Wario Land 4 vibes, huh? I replayed that last year and the game's still really good. I think the voice samples as well um, are part of the Wario Land thing. Last time. Or, you know, something. Big robot time. Here's your 30 gems. This looks like a boss. Oh god, is it a scrolling stage? Or do I just have to get to the top? I think I just maybe have to get to the top. Let's see. Yeah, there's definitely Spider-Man, like, DNA here, too. Damn, killing this level. Oh wait, there's something over there. Got a bonus level. Are so good. Oh, 
Okay, that's definitely something, right? Yeah, this track is a bop, right? This whole game is kind of a bop. Just feels really good flipping off walls and stuff and using your grappling hook. Those hidden walls remind me of Yoshi's Island. That's sort of like how they looked in that game too. Hey, thanks for the follow, Trash Bandicoot. Yeah, we all love to see a grapple hook invented by Mouse Steve Jobs. Okay, gotta be getting close to the end of this level now, huh? This hasn't been much different from the other levels so far, except in terms of its like verticality. Oh, this devs made a game called Magnabox? I haven't heard of it. No! I need that gem. Well, I don't need it, but I want it. <laughs> and isn't that basically the same thing? There we go. I crave the gem. I don't know that I've craved, but no, I've craved. The De Beers motto. Isn't that the same? You need that gem. Isn't that the same thing? Oh shit. What? Oh, do I have to fight a boss now? Can I leave? No. Oh no, it's Robot Satan! You made it all the way here. You're looking a lot less dead than I expected. You tricked me and then almost blew me up. <laughs> Oh. Rex! Metal Gear? It literally is a Metal Gear. Fuck. Oh shit! Okay, no, it's doing this. It's just gonna like tire itself out by walking through blocks and I just have to escape from it. No, it does not appear to be getting hurt. But also, I'm not sure that I can hurt it. So, I'm gonna keep running for now. Oh, this looks promising. Huh. Curl. Ooh, chicken mom, I'm trying to shoot out of a cannon at this giant metal gear. Yeah, I thought I was waiting for it to expose a weak spot, too. So I'm glad I'm not the only one who was thinking. I was, yeah, I thought it was going to open its mouth. Yeah, he does not like that. Doesn't like that one bit.
Imagine if a squirrel put itself in a cannon and shot you in the face. Yeah, that would suck. I mean, I'm not made of metal, but... You Hi, buddy. Oh, you're not dead yet, huh? One more. Thanks for the follow, Kenny's. Still not dead yet, huh? Okay, one more. One more good one. Bazinga. Hitting a boss five times? Yeah, inflation is is out of control, folks. You gotta hit back in my day you had to hit the boss three times. Oh, I got a telephone! Is this one of the magical artifacts? The cosmic gadgets? Yeah, Rex died and went to hell. Okay, well, I can't show you this. This is where we we have to part ways because the game is not out yet and I am not supposed to show past the first world. So, uh, and plus we're coming up in like two hours anyway. So yeah, that was uh, Fresh Fair for today. Um, if you like this stream, please uh, follow us uh, if you haven't already. We do all kinds of cool stuff. Um, I do this every week on Thursdays when Elden Ring comes out. I'm going to be playing through Elden Ring um, three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you again to the devs of uh, this game, Grapple Dog, for giving me a code. Thank you to the devs of um, Lucky Me for being in chat and note and uh, spotting some, some bugs in their demo, um, which again, early access demo. Um, thank you to the devs of Cock Soccer, wherever you are. Um, I hope your game uh, gets out of alpha one day. I didn't realize it was that early. That's on, that's on me, okay? That's on me, that's on my god. Um, but uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. And um, yeah, go to the Fanbyte, join the Fanbyte Discord. Fanbyte.casa will take you to the Fanbyte Discord. And uh, you can find out when all of our shows are. You can, uh, if you like dogs, listen, do you like dogs? People post pictures of their dogs. There's a whole channel. It's just for pictures of their pets, of people's pets. So like, it's a cool place to chill and hang out and be a kid. It's a place where a kid can be a kid, you know, like Burger King, Chuck E. Cheese, whatever that was from. Um, also, I keep hearing Binkot stealing in this loop. Like there's a part of it where I just like, I hear, I just hear, been caught stealing. Um, but that's just me. Um, yeah, I enjoy stealing. It's as simple as that. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna peace out, and um, we'll see y'all later. Have a good one. Bye.